What's up guys? This is part one for the animating character tutorials I'm gonna do. And this tutorial will be rigging the character. We'll put placing bones in him ready for animating. So first of all, if you download a model you might get something like this where it's just parts of the model. If you don't know how to do this already, you just want to select them all, right click, connect and delete and that's all just one big model, you may just have that when you download a model, most of the time you would but anyways let's get on with it, make sure you're in like a front view uh, go shading and um, so this doesn't affect the Z axis because we're going to need just the X and Y to start off with you want to go to character, joint tool you want to hold control and you want to start up at his pelvis because this is where um, it's easier to start off here, let's just say that, and you'll, you'll see why. Um, you want to come up to his chest, holding control. You want to come up to his neck, then his head. Keeping them all aligned as best as you can. And you want to come into the right hand view. And this is where you want to start adjusting them in Z or Z axis. Because if you start doing it here, it can go... Anywhere, for a more accurate result, you want to come here into the side and right hand, or the right and front view. And you just want to select these to like the center of his head, in the middle of his neck, in the middle of his chest, and in the middle of his waist. So they're all set up. Then you come back to the front. You want to check off root null. Root null is basically the start. So you want to, uh, I think that's what it is anyway. But then you just want, you just need to uncheck it, come to symmetry, you want to drop there, and then go to draw. And then you want to select, we'll do the legs first as it is easier to get hold with first. You want to click on the bottom or the joint. You want to hold control and you want to bring them out. And you can see they are symmetrical. So you want to bring them out to the top of the legs, down to the knees and down to the foot. And at this point you might just want to turn off the symmetry to none and adjust these because this model is slightly out of symmetry but that's alright then you just want to come into right the right hand view you want to come to draw again you want to select both of these back to his ankles bring them by forward to the before his toes and then at the end of his toes so then they're all set Lovely jubbly. That's his legs done. It's this is a piss tutorial, it's nothing hard about it. Just some things can get a little bit time consuming, but if you're gonna make something like a character animating you're gonna have to spend your time with it anyway. So anyway, if you um to let's do the arms. You wanna select this, which will be joint one, and you wanna hold control and you come to his shoulders, then down to his elbows then just down to his hands then instead of going to the right view you want to go to the top and you just want to put these actually you know what, you'll just do these individually because oh, look that's in his wrist that's outside of his hand I think it's because he's rotated a bit but most of the time your model will be sort of symmetrical and easy to rig but if not this is how to do it so that's in shoulder elbow wrist and that is done with his arms but if you want to continue oh yeah, yeah you might want to come into the front and make sure they are in the center of his elbows and wrists and then that's all good you just want to rotate and see if they look like they're bones inside the body which they do but I'll, show, I'll do two things, like if you want to extend to the fingers, which it would be better if you did actually, but I'll only do two fingers, his thumb and his index finger. You want to select the tool, grab the end, hold control, control, and then do the same here, just randomly. And then you, this is where I come into perspective because I select this joint, I grab it and then I'll start pulling it into place 
which I think that looks all right. Maybe a little bit higher. That looks all right for his thumb joint. Maybe back a little bit. And then you want to get the end point and stick it on his finger. Usually you do three actually. One for the joint on his hand, one for the middle, and one for the end. But I'll just do this. So you want to go joint six on this one, and you want to bring this down to. We'll just put it to here. And that's in his finger, in his thumb. Sorry. And you want to come to the index finger and place that in where you think his joint is, which I'd say is about here, and then you joint six, and you want to put that in there, and that looks pretty good, and then you'd have another one which will go down here, but I'm only doing this for now just to show you how to do it, but anyway, here we go, we've got our body set up, legs, arms, head, not that hard and then hit, this will be a good point where you want to come and rename all these joints like right leg right knee and so on so you just it look it's easier to work with and once you've done that you just want to right click go to select children hold control select the model character commands bind and this connects them together so once you grab his left leg you just you can animate him and then you could choose his knee and you can make simple walking animations and that um, so that's how to rig him um, the next tutorial will be weight effectors which will um, sort out these things as you can see as I'm moving up this leg this the the part of this, the clothes of the right leg is actually following with it, and this is all stretching and that, which we don't really want. So that's what the weight effectors will sort, and then we'll be going on to IK chains, which will help with animating. And I'll go through keyframing as well. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, still lots more tutorials to come, loads more. I'll just start the channel up. Um. So thank you very much, I hope to see you again, peace out.